Hi everyone, my name's Kaz and today I have my September Fairy Loot and Illumicrate unboxings. I've fallen a little bit behind, as you guys know I haven't been super active the past few months. I recently posted my August unboxings, now getting up to September, trying to get back on track. But I'm sure there are going to be some really awesome goodies to talk about and look at today. So, let's jump in. First up, Illumicrate. Ooh. Ooh, this is looking really exciting and I know that this is not intentional but like how Christmassy does this colour scheme look? So this is the September High Stakes box. First up, let's begin with this wonderful red box. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Wait, is this from Children of Blood and Bone? This is absolutely stunning. It's a ceramic travel mug inspired by Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, which is one of my favourite books of last year and I'm really, really excited for... Is it Children of... Vengeance and Virtue or Virtue and Vengeance. can never remember which way around it is, but I'm really excited about it. The art is from Jess Taylor, and Jess, you are so talented. The colours, oh god, they're so striking. Scarf time! It's now coming into summer, so not quite applicable for me, but ooh, loving the purple on this side. But we've got a really cool green and kind of silver scarf. It says Watford School of Magic, so this is inspired by Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Very cool scarf. And this lovely design is from Hey Atlas Creative. Ooh, very nice. We have a DNA spiral lanyard, which is giving me, oh, what's that book called? Uh, this Mortal Coil. Is that what this is? Indeed, this is inspired by this mortal coil and it is designed by Fable and Black. We have a really cool notepad that says the end is nigh with this awesome skull with some kind of bat wings and really gorgeous gradient colored background. Very nice. What's this from? Oh, okay. So I think this is inspired by Good Omens and also designed by Fable and Black. This is so gorgeous. So we have this really cool art print that's on a piece of wood rather than just on card. It says, Welcome to Black Cliff Academy. This one is from An Ember in the Ashes, designed by Alicia Pinapali, and it is so gorgeous. I've been getting a few An Ember in the Ashes things recently, so I think it's a, a sign that I need to pick up the series. Next up, the last item before I get to all the bookish goodies, uh, is the collectible magnetic coin. And I believe that this is Katniss Everdeen looking fierce as ever with her braid. There's the Mockingjay behind her and an arrow, some flames as well. These coins are amazing. I love them so much. I've been putting them all over my TBR cart. Stunning designs once again, of course, by the amazing Mono Lime. And now for the bookish goodies, let's jump in. Lovely letter from the author. Oh, wow. Oh my God. So we have Kingdom of Souls by Renna Barron, which I'm really, really excited about. I got an advanced copy of this from, I think, the US publisher a little while ago and have been dying to get to it. I haven't been reading a whole lot recently, but it's very high on my list. And this edition is breathtaking. So we've got this stunning gold foil kind of all on the text and all along here in the circle as well. We have a snake, which is so gorgeous. Of course, signed by the author, Illumicrate Exclusive Edition. Mm, this is beautiful. I'm so in love. I'm so in love. This cover, the pages, oh, it's beautiful. The main character, Ara, she is born to a family of powerful witch doctors. The magic they have is like bone magic, they can see the future, they can call upon their ancestors, and Ara has never been able to conjure up any magic. Much to her mother's disapproval, I'm sure. And there is one way, a cheap trick to access magic, but it comes at a very, very heavy price. I think it takes years off your life. Ara would never do this, except children in her town start disappearing. In order to try and find this child snatcher, she trades years of her life for magic. And I think in doing so, there are some secrets that are also brought to the surface. It sounds amazing, looks amazing. Holy cow. Oh, it's just so beautiful. You guys have outdone yourself with this edition. It's so, so beautiful. Cannot wait to read it. And if you guys enjoyed this Illumicrate box as well and want to know a little more, want to give it a try yourself, I have some information in the description below about a coupon code. So check it out if you're interested. Now to move on to Fairy Loot. Here we have Fairy Loot. The theme of this month is Witches Be Crazy. And we have an awesome illustration of a witch here brewing a potion. Oh, something smells in here. Um, <coughs> 
brewing a potion. And I love the look of this content card. It's amazing. Okay, like I said, something smells in here. There's something powdery that has gotten loose. I suspect we might have a bath bomb. Yes, it's leaking a little bit, but that's okay. I don't think it's causing any problems with the items in the box. I'm just going to be really careful opening it. But on the top it says cauldron bath bomb. Let's hope it's still intact. Oh my god. This is so cute. Holy cow. Okay, <laughs> so we have a little cauldron. But then in the middle, we have a bath bomb potion, which is so cool. This is really, really cute. Okay, so it's a melon scented bath bomb. Hell yeah. Mmm. And this is from Little Heart Gifts, made in the UK. But you know what? This is the cutest thing ever. I'm going to put you there. Do we have some more straws, I wonder? <gasps> These are so pretty. So we have a couple of metallic straws and there's the little cleaning brush thingy-mabob. But that is all cute. Okay, so on the one end of this it says witch and magic on this one. We've got a black one with white paint splatters and then a white one with black paint splatters. Very cute, very handy. I'm really, really sad that it's coming out of winter here. It's spring now. We're coming into the warmer seasons because I love winter. I love my fluffy blanket and I love fluffy socks. Like I wear fluffy socks all the time in winter. I love them so much. And now I've got some witchy ones. These are so cute. So it's just black and white stripes with a little witch's hat embroidered around the ankle on both sides. These are so cute. They're so soft. The socks and the straws, by the way, brought to you by Fairy Loot. Oh my god! Wait, wait. We have an enamel pin from That's Lovely Dear. Chami, if you're watching this, you're amazing. I love you. You're doing awesome things with That's Lovely Dear. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have an enamel pin that's not your basic witch, and it's basically a Starbucks cup. And on the logo, there's a witch's hat, there's cauldron, bats, sparkles. It's so so cute. love all of Chami's pin designs. Like, I'm pretty sure I own almost every single pin. Honestly, if I could only buy one brand of pins for the rest of my life, it would be that's lovely dear because Chami's incredible. Okay, next thing. Which playing cards? Hello! There's character art in here from Crooked You and Obsidian. Really cool design on the front and on the back. The actual edges of the playing cards uh, silver. Like, they're so shiny. So we have a black hat. Oh, okay. So I think this is Sabrina. The next one... I think these are from the Throne of Glass series. Wait, is this Charmed? Who are these ones? According to the content card, the last group of characters are from the book included in this month's box. These cards are really cool. Really gorgeous illustrations. <gasps> we have a really cool tote bag. So this is... Stunning. It looks like we've got some kind of potions, there's skulls, moths, bones, daggers, crescent moods, the Ouija board thingy-mobobs, crystals, mushrooms, candles. This is so cool. I really like the size of this as well. You know what? For this theme, I'm really loving how many more, like, general items there are that aren't specific to a particular fandom. Like, don't get me wrong. I love me some witches and books, but I'm also loving all of these just general witchy items. It's making me very happy. Awesome, awesome tote bag from Band of Weirdos. In saying that, <laughs> I'm really, really glad that there is a Harry Potter item. I was wondering if they'd include Hermione, but no, we have one of my absolute favorite characters from Harry Potter, Luna Lovegood. It's a quote along this top saying, you're just as sane as I am. Then we have her Spectre Specs. We've also got her wand and her Patronus in the corner as well. This is so, so pretty. This, <gasps> they're sticky notes. I was going to be happy if this was just like a regular notepad, but I really, really love sticky notes. So these are going to be very useful in my bullet journal. Next up, the tarot cards. So these are collectible items in each box. Fairy Loot includes two tarot cards with illustrations inspired by a different fandom. These amazing illustrations are from Loiana Art and the characters are from the Shatter Me series by Tahir Mafi. Now we have the book included in the September box. I literally... <gasps> okay, I'm really liking all this metallic. I'm a huge fan of it. Let's see. We have the Fairy Loot bookmark featuring the illustration from the content card. Fairy Scoop for this month, which has a Q&A with the author and some information about the October box. I definitely know what book is included in the box. 
very, very excited about it. We have a, another vampire book. You know what? I am ready for the next wave of vampire novels. I'm here for it. Lots of Halloween themed items, vampire goodies. Okay, so the exclusive edition for October will have artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, sprayed edges, and signed by the author. Character art. Oh, this is so cute. It looks so wintry and homey and cozy. I just want it to still be winter. But we have a letter from the author and oh yes okay the book included in this month's box is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin apologies if I mispronounce that when my phone has revived it's run out of battery at the moment I will check how to pronounce that but we have oh gorgeous exclusive fairy loot edition oh hello so it looks like we're going to have a ball scene in this book I assume gown the Christmassy vibes I'm here for it that was a delightful box I must say I am loving the witchy theme all of those items are really cool stunning book stunning box oh my gosh once again if you guys are interested if you enjoyed the fairy loot box I also have a coupon code all that information links and stuff in the description below I had a great time unboxing these and I'm just about to film a separate unboxing for a very exciting dark dawn box that I'm doing a separate video for so I'll leave that linked in the description below if you want to see this unboxing you won't have to wait long I'm posting both of these unboxing videos on the same day so you can go and check that out too but Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you to Fairy Loot and Illumicrate for sending me these wonderful boxes. And I'll see you guys very soon in a new video. But until then, I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye!